okay uh, continuing from uh, where i left in the last lesson um i used all these uh, constant that i found uh, you know uh, in limits.h so this is basically was basically listed on the website uh, and i just uh, use those constants to you know print the ranges of int char uh, int char unsigned int unsigned char a uh, long short unsigned short uh, all these things so basically they just i've just used this uh, has defined uh, symbolic constants to just print those things okay uh, this is defined in uh, this thing called as limits dot h okay limits dot h okay so and if you want to you know know uh, the similar things about float it's actually defined in float dot h so i'll just show that also okay so this is what is that uh, float dot h so if you go through this uh, it will give you the detailed um, range and uh, and the range of what float double and uh, long double does uh, you know it's a bit different from um, how int ranges of integers and characters are represented uh, it's just uh, represented in terms of exponential radix base form okay nothing much um, basically uh, my idea was to just introduce you to uh, find how to find out so if you could uh, go into float.h and limits.h you could pretty much find out um, what what is the range of float a double and long double in your particular platforms okay so uh, try that out at least okay okay um, now i'm going to talk a bit about uh, variables uh, how to declare them and everything so basically there are uh, four uh, types of basic types int uh, int car float and double so when you want to declare a variable uh, this is how you declare it uh, uh, i think by now you you really know how to declare variables and all that just to brush up so if there's a variable i or number that's how you declare it you can declare more more than one variable um, in a line okay every line will have the type and the variable names for a comma i okay whatever or you could also uh, uh, initialize those values okay with whatever you want okay and uh, for example char is ch okay or you could have just one uh, variable declared so i'm just using some uh, <laughs> dummy names so this is how you would uh, declare variables and uh, i think previously i showed you the different kinds of types that can happen with long short unsigned char unsigned int okay all that and long double also okay so these uh, this is these are the different um, ty types of uh, types and the how you declare variables for them and for everything you can actually start declaring um, yeah, this thing declaring start declaring variables and uh, initializing them okay and now uh, let me talk about a bit of constants so what do i say when i say constant uh, for example zero is a constant you initialize a variable with a constant okay so uh, for example if you want to initialize an int with a constant you just say 223 or whatever just this okay so but for a character the constant would be like this okay or b or c or whatever or one whatever so these will be character constants and for float it will be like this uh, f okay so when you put f on the end of this one it means a float if you don't put anything it actually means a double so that can be cross complication so if you really want a float so make sure you use f okay so when you say f it is float okay and when you just say this it's double so for default any decimal <coughs> any floating point number you declare it's a double okay so for a long double what you do is um, you say l okay so this this is what is a long double okay and uh, 
there could be uh, other correct other constants as well for example uh, for long so long um, long number equal to okay so this is a long so when you say l at the end right it says it's a long uh, there can be other types of constants uh, like octal and uh, hex okay so let me just uh, tell you what it is int um, octal underscore const equal to see for example whenever you start a number uh, <coughs> with zero it basically means an octal so this is basically an octal uh, number octal constant so this is actually the value is 31 that is stored okay and um, there can all be, also be a hex const x a so this is um, basically a hex of value 10 okay so you can also <coughs> put in an l which means that it's an hex it's along with uh, value 10 okay and for this also as well okay and uh, for example another thing i missed out is um, you could actually uh, have unsigned uh, unsigned and unsigned so it will be like this unsigned unsigned um, so unsigned number equal to u okay when i say it's u it means an unsigned um, unsigned constant okay so <coughs> so pretty much uh, covered all the constants that you can um, you know get uh, one more thing i would want to cover before is um, this thing uh, difference between a string constant and uh, a string constant and a character constant so for example this is also is a string constant okay anything between two double quotes is a string constant hello world is a string constant okay uh, but this is also a string constant but uh, this one is a character constant so this is a, uh, the difference between these two is very subtle okay let me just tell you uh, how this is represented okay so a character constant is a single character okay but a string constant is actually two characters it's represented like this so basically uh, double quotes of h will be represented like this this is not a valid c expression okay but i'm just showing you how it was represented so it's nothing but a single character h and followed by a slash zero that means every string is terminated by slash zero so you need to really understand the difference between a string constant and a character constant so this is a string constant and this is a character constant okay and this is not a valid c expression so if you compile this program it really won't compile okay so and uh, one last thing uh, i want to talk about enums before i end so enums are also constants so i'll just declare one and you will know so you say enum and you say boolean month okay and uh, you say jan equal to one feb march okay etc whatever so you need to understand uh, for example like whenever i want to use one right i can use jan so that's what enum uh, the flexibility that enum gives and f for example if i don't put uh, jan equal to 1 right so jan will be 0 feb will be 1 march will be 3 and that just is the first enum constant is 0 and afterwards it gets incremented by 1 okay but uh, you're free to assign values for enum for example i can assign it or whatever 2 or 4 it won't comply so what it means is wherever I want to use five, uh, I could use feb. Okay, one of the use uh, use of this is uh, when I say instead of when I say instead of one, if I say Jan in a program that prints uh, uh, that prints the months, okay, it's much better or it makes use of the months. So that's why you use unum uh, enum. Otherwise, it's uh, not the use. And another thing is this was not a part of the C standard. So later it was, uh, but almost almost all the compilers implemented it. Later it became a uh, part of the C standard. Okay. So with this, I'm pretty much done with this uh, variables and constants. Uh, in the next lesson, we'll look into operators, expressions, conditional expressions, and those stuff.